I spent 100 days in Minecraft Pixelmon as a shiny Pokemon hunter. Shiny Pokemon are incredibly rare versions of Pokemon that are just awesome. And my only rule for the next 100 days is the only Pokemon I can catch have to be shiny. But the odds of encountering a shiny Pokemon are only 1 in 4096, which is just 0.0002%. But I do have some goals to complete along the way, so this will not be easy. We need to get a full team of shiny Pokemon, get the full team to level 100, get a shiny Charizard, and finally a shiny legendary Pokemon. Can I complete my goals and become the best shiny Pokemon hunter on the server? Watch until the end to find out. And please, if you enjoyed this video at any point, don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate the support and it just takes a simple click. And here we are on the starter select screen of the Smash MC Zekrom server. And as you can see right here, we have all of the shiny starter Pokemon. And this is very, very convenient to us since it knocks down the amount of shiny Pokemon we need from six to five. And we could actually work on another goal by picking Charmander since we need a shiny Charizard. But honestly, guys, I'm up for a little challenge. Plus, I just love shiny Froakie so much. So we're gonna pick Froakie. Yeah, I'm gonna regret that later on. But let's go. We got our shiny Froakie. Look how adorable he is. And he's a lax nature, which isn't too great. Bubble, Lick, and Quick Attack are my only moves that do damage. But Thankfully, when you start on this server, you do get some free rare candies. Oh, I just got rid of quick attack. Why did I do that? No, we're already making mistakes, but now Froakie is evolving. I figured we might as well just level up immediately. And look at that. We now have shiny frog a deer. That is much better. Let's go. But as I said, we are on the Smash MC Zekrom server. And if you guys do want to come and find me on the server and play Pixelmon, the IP is play.smashmc.co. And you can find that in the description along with the Smash MC website and the Pixelmon website to download Pixelmon. But before we talk about the first shiny Pokemon we're going to hunt, let's just go over spawn and talk about what we got here. So here is the mart where we can buy Pokeballs, we can buy wood, you can buy pretty much everything here, bro. Buy evolution items, that'll actually be really nice. Here is the boss tower where you can take on powerful boss Pokemon for items, it's how you like money grind and stuff. Here we have the training center where we can grind up our Pokemon. We'll be spending a lot out of time here. And here are the crates. You can see there's a bunch of stuff here. We have the legendary crate, the limited edition crate, the event crate. But what I'm interested in is the 50-50 shiny legendary crate. Obviously, I could just buy this right now and we can complete our goal of getting a shiny legendary. But like I said, we gotta earn it. So the server admins agreed that if I can beat a gym leader with a full shiny squad, we'll be awarded a 50-50 shiny legendary crate key. And that may sound easy, but guys, the gym leaders on this server are incredibly challenging. So we need to build the best shiny Pokemon team possible. And even if we beat the gym, it's still a 50-50 if we get the shiny legendary or not. So I think our order of business should be completing the rest of our goals before we tackle the shiny legendary goal. And without further ado, let's talk about the first shiny Pokemon we're gonna hunt. So we know that we eventually need a Charizard at some point, but I don't wanna go for Charmander just yet. I wanna go for Larvitar. Honestly, Tyranitar is just such a broken Pokemon and such a great shiny. And Larvitar can spawn in either Mesa's or Mountainous Biomes, so we need to find one of those. So nothing else to do but RTP until we find one. And I'm having some really bad luck right now. I cannot find a Mesa or anything Mountainous. And as I say that, we TP right into a Mountains Biome. Oh my gosh. We're gonna be in this biome for a while, guys. Because like I said, shiny Pokemon only have a rate of 1 in 4,096 of appearing. But there really isn't anything else to do right now at the start of the challenge, but find a shiny. And you know what? Hold on. That's not true. I guess instead of leveling these <laughs> Pokemon, I could just, I could just rare candy. Like the game gives you free rare candies for a reason. I might as well use them. So I think a good plan would be using all this time to like grind up my Frogadier and possibly leave this with a shiny Greninja and a shiny Larvitar. But much like my legendary only 100 days, this challenge is going to be a lot of waiting around, waiting for the shinies to spawn. But I haven't gotten a full on shiny in Pixelmon in so, so long. So I feel like I'm kind of due. Ooh, a Graveler. This will be a ton of EXP. Let's get a 
478. I got Frogadier to level 35 now. I want to see if I can take on this dude. Oh, he's got a level 38 now. Oh, wait, there's a Charmander in the back. Wait, if I get Shiny Charmander instead of Shiny Larvitar, I'll actually not be mad at all. Oh, wait, I have Smackdown. Let me go for Smackdown. Oh my god, I just got obliterated. I just got obliterated by a policeman. No! So far, day one has proven to be pretty challenging, man. Maybe I should have trained up a little bit before coming here. I guess it doesn't matter too much. And it is now the dawn of the first day. Day, we're coming up on our first nighttime. Obviously, I don't expect to see shiny Larvitar on day one, but if we can at least see like five Larvitars, my confidence is going to skyrocket. Ooh, we got Mienfu. I was not seeing those during the day. That's pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh, there's a Larvitar. Okay, I don't know why I'm so excited. It's not even a shiny one, but <laughs> I'm still happy to see it. All right, so I guess it's good to know that we are, in fact, in the right spot. I knew we were, but it's nice to know. So now, guys, it really just is the waiting game. How long until I lose my sanity from trying to? To find a shiny larvitar. And I think we should also be killing these Pokemon so more are spawning in in place. Hey, another larvitar. Well, this way I don't have to stray too far out of the area. Carbink, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to go down. I am so sorry, but it's for the greater. It didn't even kill. Oh my gosh. Okay, but that one kills. And now, there we go. Frogadier is evolving. Yo, let's go, dude. Shiny Greninja is so freaking cool, man. Just look at that. Yes. So we just gotta get this dude to level 100. We got one of six done. But I won't lie, guys. We got way bigger problems right now. We gotta find a shiny Larvitar. Hey, another Larvitar. What's up, buddy? Yo, I got I got a present for you. Shiny Greninja, baby. Water Shuriken. Let's go. Easiest, easiest Larvitar I've ever taken out. There's another Larvitar. Okay, I'm feeling really confident about this hunt. We've seen a lot of Larvitars, guys. And it's now turning daytime. We are on to day two. So the first night, not successful, but that is completely fine. In the meantime, let's go to the training room and see if we can grab a quick few levels before going and back out there. But guys, I'll be honest, I am an avid shiny hunter in the Pokemon games. I love shiny hunting and I know it's rare, so I am very prepared to waste a lot of time waiting for these dudes. But I think we could definitely get five more shinies within 100 days. It's definitely possible. And just like that, we are already level 38 on Greninja, but hold on, we gotta go change some moves. Hello, sir. He's right there. What's up, mister? We gotta get some way better moves on this dude. Like, we do not need bubble. Shadow Sneak is definitely better than Lick, though, so I'll take it. But now we should just be able to obliterate these trainers, hopefully at least. I mean, I don't know. Water Shuriken does a lot to Archeops, but this is why I love the Smash MC server so much. There's easy ways to level up your Pokemon. So yeah, if you guys are trying to play Pixelmon, I highly, highly recommend Smash MC. Like I said, the IP is in the description. But yeah, I pretty much just think I'm gonna spend the daytime grinding, and as soon as it turns to nighttime, teleport back to the mountainous biome. But I might as well be working on Greninja during the daytime as this is going. I just think that makes sense. Another the reason I need to grind up my Greninja is so I can come here to the boss tower and start grinding items, money, and stuff like that. But all of these bosses are like level 80 plus and some go over level 100. So that's definitely for a later time. Oh, three berries. And it is now nighttime again. We are back at the mountains biome. And I was able to get Greninja up to level 51 today. So honestly, that's, that's a W. But we still have much more to do in search for the shiny Larvitar. Hey, and there's a Larvitar right there. What's up? But you know what? Just just for you, man, I'll take you out. Just for you, catch this water pulse. But yeah, it's good to know we're in the right spot again, I guess. Another unsuccessful night of shiny hunting Larvitar. But of course, we need to kill some time by leveling up a bit and just waiting for night. But this is going to get very, very tedious if I keep updating you guys like every second. And wow, Greninja just died. Okay, good job, buddy. But I think the next time I update you guys, Greninja will probably be level 100. And not only that, but we'll hopefully have our beautiful, beautiful, shiny, shiny Larvitar. So I'll see you guys when that hopefully happens. Oh my gosh, and another night down, dude. This is getting ridiculous. Like, I knew this was gonna take a long time. No freaking way! Guys, that's literally, I saw the gold names immediately, so it must have just spawned in as, like, night was ending. No, wait, where are you going, little guy? Where are you going? Oh, my God, my heart is beating so fast. Wait, I cannot attack this. I cannot attack this. I will just knock it out. I am level 100. Oh, my God, wait, please just stay in the Ultra Ball Larvitar. No, it broke out. Oh, my God, wait, dude, I'm getting so nervous. Come on. Larvitar is a really hard Pokemon to catch, and I did not think this through. One, two, three, four. I think that's it. Yes! 
Let's go, baby. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. Yes! Yeah, I'd say we got that on day 10 because now it's the morning of day 11. So, I, I mean, it, it spawned on day 10. I am actually so happy, bro. Just look how good it looks. I guess there's only one thing to do right now, and that's level it up. We can do some switch training. Actually, what am I doing? I'm level 100. I can take on these guys. Oh, but bro, we need to evolve this into Tyranitar as soon as possible, which is honestly... Going to take a while. This Pokemon is impossible to train up. But I'll see you guys when we have a shiny Tyranitar. But let's go. Pupitar is now evolving and we get to see shiny Tyranitar. Oh, let's go. He's so small, but yo, it's such a good shiny. I am very happy about that. Oh, what's up, bro? Look. And I just realized both of our shinies are dark types. So we should probably get a ghost type or something to balance out their weaknesses. But really quickly, I do want to get... Tyranitar up to level 100 so we have more Pokemon to use in the boss tower because that is like the best way to grind for items and money and that, you know we need both of those things for this <laughs> and just like that Tyranitar is level 100 which is honestly just great we have two shiny Pokemon at level 100 now I think we're doing pretty decent and only on day 15 and of course we do need to go hunt a new shiny Pokemon but since we are level 100 I do want to see if we can farm some good items here at the boss tower. Because look at this. It is such a good way to grind items. We get a rare candy. We get we get free money and also an iron ball, which honestly I don't need. But this is such a good place to grind items for anything. Like you can get choice specs, choice scarf. You can get evolution items here. So let's see what we get. We get more money, $100 EXP candy, which is actually great. And while I'm taking on Pokemon here, I think this is a great time to talk about the next Pokemon, Will Shiny Hunt. And as I mentioned, our team is very, very weak to fighting types, which is why why the next Pokemon we're going to hunt is Psychic type. And that Pokemon is none other than one of my favorite Psychic types from Gen 5, Solosis. I just love her Uniclus and its shiny is so great, so we have to go for this Pokemon. Not to mention, it's also just a very strong Pokemon in general. And look, we just got safety goggles, not bad. Solosis spawns in swamp biomes on land at any time of the day. So I guess I'll just stay here grinding and once morning hits, we'll set off and look for shiny Solosis. And oh my gosh, we have a rare boss Snorlax right here. Level 120? I don't even know if I can take this up, but guys, this is why I wanted to be level 100 first. This is ridiculous. I don't even have any healing items I can use. I think Tyranitar just has to go down. Come on, Greninja. This is all on you. It's three times. I don't think this is possible. Oh my gosh, Body Slam does so much. Yeah, I'm just gonna run before we lose our team to this blue Snorlax. And it is now a new day, so let's set off and look for a Swamp Biome. Oh! Oh, is this a swamp? This looks pretty swampy to me. And like I said, this Pokemon spawns at any time of day. So let's just have a look around and see if we can find a Solosis or two. And we have our first Solosis right here. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Oh, I cannot wait till you look a different color. All right, so let's see if we can find any more. I just want to see how many spawn like per day. And so far, not a lot more luck. That's the only Solosis I've seen here, which is not too promising. However, I do see a lot of Pokemon here that would just be great shinies as well. So this seems like a pretty good place to shiny hunt regardless. Like, there's another Solosis. Oh, wait, actually, it might be the same one. Oh, it's level 13. I think it's the same. Oh, wait, there's another. Okay, so I've seen two Solosis today. The sun's going down now, so three Solosis in one daytime. Uh. All right, the sun's coming up now. Let's talk about how many Solosis I saw. Now, I did have some more success overnight. We only saw three Solosis during the day, but I saw five over the course of the night. So that's eight in total which is really bad. Like, that is way, way worse than Larvitars. I feel like I was seeing 30, 40 Larvitars a day. I still do want to continue to hunt here because, like I said, there's a ton of cool Pokemon in this area. Like, Shiny Drowsy, I wouldn't mind. That's another Psychic type. This would be great on our team. Oddish. Our team kind of needs a Poison type right now to balance out that Biting type weakness. So I think I'll just continue to hunt in this area for that reason. But you guys know what time it is. It's time for us to catch a Shiny Pokemon. So I'll see you guys when we have our Shiny. <gasps> no way! Yes, dude! Okay. Oh, I thought I saw that. I was like, why is that green? Yo! Okay, all right. So it is not Solosis. It is a shiny Grimer. But dude, I do not even care at all. Let's go! This actually took longer than Larvitar as well. I think it was like around 12 days looking for a shiny in this swamp. And finally, we get Grimer. Dude, this is such a good one, too. I just love how it's so obviously shiny. Like, he's green. It's a great color, too. And just stay in the Ultra Ball, please. One more shake. Yes! 
And we have caught our shiny Grimer. Oh, let's go, man. So we are three shinies deep into this challenge. Only three more, and we've got our full shiny squad. So you already know what I need to do, bro. We need a shiny muck ASAP. Coming to this level 70 trainer. This is gonna take a minute to switch train, probably, but it's totally gonna be worth it. That is just so insane. I can't believe this challenge is actually going really well so far. We just need three more shiny Pokemon, one of them being Charizard. Then we can grind them all up, get them ready for battle, take on the gym and then hopefully win our shiny crate key and don't quote me but i think after this battle we should have our shiny muck there's the earthquake we love oh look yeah he's evolving oh no it glitched out we can't even see the grimer evolve <laughs> no we're just looking at this guy no i want to see my shiny muck bro look i can see you walking in the background venom drench i think i'm good on that for now but yo look at our shiny muck oh that is actually so cool man i'm very happy about that so it's now a new day time for a new shiny hunt and looking at our team right now one of the types we could use is definitely grass i really want to make sure our team is well rounded by the end so the next pokemon we're going for is the grass and psychic type execute and this pokemon spawns at jungle and taiga biomes during dawn day and dusk time also on land and this is a giant tree type what Oh my god. There is a wormhole to ultra space right here. I am not messing with that right now. But it doesn't say on the Pixelmon wiki that Execute spawns in these giant tree tigers. Yeah, I have not seen an Execute. I'm gonna get out of there. Hey, and here we have a plain tiger biome. So now we just need to look around and see if we can find some eggs, which honestly, it shouldn't be that hard. Hey, there's one right there. Here's our first Execute. What's up, buddy? All right, show me where the shiny eggs are, bro please. And I've seen like 12 Pachirisus here. Oh, wait. Hatina spawns here? Wait, that would be another great shiny. This seems like another great area to hunt. Like, Pachirisu isn't that strong, but it's a great shiny, so I really wouldn't mind it. But yeah, we might just have to switch the hunt to go for Pachirisu because it seems like that's just what we're gonna get. Oh, let's go. Yo, wait, there's two. Okay, wait, that's gotta be a good sign. Now, we got two execute back to back. That's got me feeling good, man. Come on, show me another. Show me another. Oh, wait, I feel like I should go back to my original strategy of knocking them out so that way, like, another Pokemon can spawn in its place. That's probably a good idea. Since we know it's not shiny, like, might as well kill it. Or knock it out. We don't kill Pokemon here. Oh my god, I thought we just found a shiny. Why is this Weedle a different color? What the heck? Should I catch this? Why is it? Is it like a costume? I'm, I'm gonna catch it. I mean, it's a Weedle. I just really want to check. I'm gonna release this Pokemon. I know it's not shiny. I just want to see if it has like a mark on it. This is purely for my curiosity. No, it doesn't have like a mark or anything. All right. But since you're not shiny... Goodbye. That is actually such a troll from this game. I can't believe that. So it is now nighttime, meaning that Executes officially will not spawn anymore. Obviously, we don't have a chance for Execute, but I don't really care. As long as we get a shiny, like, that really helps us. And we only have, like, 70 days left to get three more shiny Pokemon, get them all battle ready, and take on a gym. Wait, actually, I should have done this before our second shiny hunt. We need to re-up on Ultra Balls, because I've gotten a decent amount of money just from, like, leveling up and playing the game. So if we got money, we might as well use it and yeah this guy will come to you later to buy ev training items but an ability capsule dude i wish that was an ability patch i want protean on greninja so bad all right but back to the taiga i saw a decent amount of executes throughout the day probably around 10 so hopefully we can get our target shiny pokemon but either way guys i will see you when we have our shiny <gasps> no way, dude, I literally just, yeah, he's right there. There's a normal Antina. I just walked past. I didn't even see it was shiny until I saw the text. Oh my God, please just get in the Ultra Ball. I think this Pokemon might know like Memento or something, which is a move that basically makes the Mon knock itself out. So I don't want to risk that at all. So come on, just stay in the ball. Just stay in, just stay in the Ultra Ball. No, Hatina, come back. Please, I need this Pokemon to stay in the Ultra Ball. I didn't even shake. Oh my gosh, come on, just stay in. Just stay in one shake, two shake, three shake. Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh, four shiny Pokemon down. That's what's up, baby. Let's go! And that's a great addition to the team, too. A fairy and psychic type for all. Unfortunately, not in Execute, our target Pokemon, but bro, I cannot complain. Oh, and it's learning Dazzling Gleam. Dude, that is so good. Like, this isn't just a good shiny. It's gonna be a great addition to the team, like I said. And there we go! Level 32 on Hatina. Let me exit out this and oh my god it glitched again dude like all i want to do is 
see my shiny Pokemon evolve. Is that so much to ask? But there we go. We have shiny Hatchrem now. Only one more evolution to go. We have reached level 42, so we're evolving into Hatterena. Or Hatterene. I completely forgot what this Pokemon was called. Either way, dude, I love this guy. I don't know why he's looking at the wall. This is kind of freaking me out, but, <laughs> but let's go. We got shiny Hatterene, and you know what I mean, baby. This is a great Pokemon. And quickly, before we start our next shiny hunt, I just want to grab some quick balls because I realized I kind of wish I had these for the Hatterena or the Hatina. I don't know, man. Their names are confusing. It's all hats. And now I think it is finally time for us to shiny hunt Charmander. I've been putting this off for way too long, but we got to do it to complete this entire challenge. So quickly, let's find ourselves a mountainous biome because Charmander spawns here during the daytime on land while there's clear weather. And we had some pretty good luck finding Charmander's early in the video. So let's see if we can just track down a few before we really start this shiny. Oh my God, there's, <laughs> it's right there. Okay, sweet. That is perfect timing. All right, let's see if we can find one more. Come on, there's gotta be another. Hey, and we got another one right over here. What's up, buddy? All right, this is keeping me confident. That's like two Charmanders in five minutes. And I'm also seeing a lot of Machops, which would be a great Pokemon to catch as well. Wait, I should be knocking these out. Yeah, get out of here. Level 11, just yo, senor. Ooh, Makuhita. That would actually be a sweet shiny. We need a fighting type, so I would take that 100%. But the problem is we actually need Charizard to complete the challenge. Oh my gosh, Jangmo out. That would be a crazy shiny. So I'm totally okay with getting a different shiny other than Charmander one time. But if it happens any more times than that, honestly, I might just go insane. Charmander, hey! There he is. Yeah, that's definitely a different one. Okay, let me knock this out. Come here, buddy. Confusion destroyed. Sit down. But that just makes it way easier to keep track of what Charmanders I have seen if I just knock them out. I still can't get over how cool it would be to get a shiny Jangmo. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wait. Cast form Sun. That would be so cool. I think that can, like, spawn everywhere, right? Either way, I know I've said this every time, but this seems like a great place to hunt. There's just so many cool shinies we can get. And it is now the end of the first day hunting for Charmander. And honestly, guys, not too bad. But after we get a shiny Charizard, all there's left to do is level up our team and EV train all of them. Take on the gym leader and then hopefully get our shiny legend but you guys know the drill i'll see you when we have our shiny <gasps> yes dude oh oh let's go i turned the corner i saw these two fampy and i was like bro that one that one just looks a little bit lighter oh my god also there was a charmander right here like that could have been the shiny one but dude i am not complaining so this will be our fifth shiny pokemon meaning all we need is shiny charizard after this and we've completed our goal of a full shiny squad and we caught the bampy oh that is such a beautiful sight we got ourselves shiny Fampy, baby. And honestly, that makes sense. There is a ton of Fampy around. Like, look, right there, too. But now we have a much harder hunt on our hands, and that is this dude right here. And unfortunately, it just started raining here, so we can't even look for Charmander. It only spawns during clear weather. But that took forever for that Fampy to show up, bro. I... My God, that took so long. I really wish it was the Charmander, but I'm glad we got something and I'm glad it was Fampy too. But like I said, since it is raining, we can't even hunt there. So I'm gonna find a new mountain biome, but we found our next mountains biome. Of course it is still raining. So we do just kind of have to wait it out, but that is fine. Cause in the meantime, we can go ahead and train up Fampy. I am a huge fan of Shiny Don fan. <laughs> see what I did there. So I need to see that Pokemon in my game ASAP. But dude, we are so close to a full shiny team. I can't believe it. And already up to level 21. Dude, I love these grinding trainers. I'm just gonna go to Greninja here. And I'm not actually 100% sure what level Fampy evolves at, but hopefully, just hopefully it's a close level. You know, hopefully it's close. It's gotta be like late 20s, early 30s. Nothing crazier than that. Oh, I guess it's the level we're at, because Fampy's evolving. I gotta stop fighting this trainer, because every time he messes up our Pokemon's evolution, we can kind of see Fampy in the bottom, though. But, oh, baby, we got our shiny top fan, bro. Look how sick that is. This is just such a cool Pokemon, and its shiny is so great, too. Oh, let's go, bro. So, like I said, we only need one more shiny, and I don't want to miss any chance to shiny hunt this Charmander, so we're not just going to train up right now. The rain has now thankfully stopped, which means we can finally resume our Charmander shiny hunt. And let me just say, guys, I'll be a little... Oh, my God, is that a Yan Mega? What? Whoa, uh, bye. Okay, anyways, if we get a different shiny other than Charmander, I'll kind of be annoyed, but it's about to be daytime again, so let's do it. Hey, and look at that 
another Charmander next to a Hitmonchan. Oh, I thought there was two Hitmonchan. Oh, there is. And this entire problem could of course been avoided if I just picked Shiny Charmander as my starter. But honestly, guys, that's no fun. And there's another one right there. Honestly, guys, I'm feeling pretty good now. The Charmanders are coming out to play. So we've been at it again, Shiny Hunting Charmander for about two days now. And I feel like I've seen like 15, 20 Charmander. I haven't been counting. Like, I start counting, and then when you get to 10, I just kind of stop counting. Let's head back to our mountains biome. I like this one a lot. It's just huge. There's so many areas where Pokemon can spawn, and hopefully Shiny Charmander will soon. I'll see you guys then. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my I don't even know what to say. There is no way, bro. We did it. We found the shiny Charmander. Oh my God. I am so nervous right now. Okay, we'll get into a battle with it. I'm just gonna throw a quick ball. I am just throwing a quick ball immediately. Just get in there. Please get in my ball. Oh, my heart is pounding, guys. I have been hunting this for who knows how long. It, it's, it didn't stay in. All right, I guess we're going back to ultra balls. We're going old school here. Where'd the ball go? There it is. Come on, come on, just stay in. No! We have come this far. I am not letting this Charmander get away from us. Come on, man. Just stay in the ball. One shake. Oh, come on, Charmander, please. The ball is behind us. Look, the ball. <laughs> come on, just keep shaking. Keep shaking. One more time. One more time. No. No. I just for sure have no way that I can attack this. Like, throwing Ultra Balls is my best line of business here. As you can see, Charmander is taking damage little, little by little. Just little by little. Come on. Three shakes, come on! Yes! Yes! We finally did it! Let's go! I actually can't believe it, bro! We have caught ourselves Shiny Charmander! So with that, we have completed our first goal of a full Shiny Squad. I can't believe it, man. It only took 85 days, but we have our full Shiny team. Look how sick they look, man. Let's go! But of course, we are still not done. We need to get our Shiny Legendary. And of course, level Charmander up to a Charizard as well as the whole team to 100. So let's start on that training right now. And look at that, Charmander off the first Pokemon is level 19, which of course means Charmander is evolving. And of course we can't see it because why would we be able to see it? But look, we have our Charmander, which is now a Charmeleon. Oh my, the gold looks so good, man. But of course, we still need shiny Charizard. So I'll see you guys then. We literally have a rare candy. If I'm evolving shiny Charizard, we're doing it where we can see it, baby. And no, don't, don't walk away. Come back. <laughs> Come back, Charmeleon. But look at that. We're getting ourselves a shiny Charizard, bro. Oh my gosh. But yo, shiny Charizard, man. Dude, just look how good this looks. And with that, we have completed another one of our goals. Get a shiny Charizard. You can't do it in spawn, but look, we can fly on a Charizard, bro. This is so sick. But anyways, guys, it is time for us to grind up our team and take on the gym to get our shiny legendary Pokemon. Hey, honestly, I don't think this is gonna take that long, but shouldn't it be too terrible? I mean, I shiny hunted for a different color of a Pokemon for like 15, 20 days, so I, I think I'll be fine training. But either way, guys, you know the drill. I'll catch up with you when the whole team is level 100. And this trainer should be it! There we go! Level 100 on Don Fan. And just like that, we are level 100 with our entire team. But but of course, we are not done yet. We still need to get our shiny legendary Pokemon, which means we need to take on one of the gyms. But we are not quite ready. We still need to change up some of the moves on our Pokemon. So we'll come here to the move relearner and just do everything we need to. But I think that should be decent for move sets now without buying any TMs. I mean, I have like no money now, so I can't really do that. Thankfully, we do have enough money for all of the EV training items. As as you might have guessed, it's time to EV train our shinies. And this honestly won't take long at all. I'm not here to explain EVs to you, but basically they just make our Pokemon stronger and we essentially need these if we want to beat the gym. And now I am on to the final Pokemon that I need to EV train. And of course it is Hatterene. I'm just doing some HP and special attack investment on Hatterene. I think that should be the best for us. And now let's just do some special attack investment really quick. They actually make EV training super, super easy 
easy on the server so like it's you don't have to worry about it at all you can just type in chat slash warp evs and it takes you to this ev training room with a bunch of different pokemon to fight for each stat but without further ado let's take on the fairy gym leader and try to earn our shiny legendary crate key and he's leading off with a clef key i'm just gonna earthquake but keep in mind guys we need to beat this gym battle in order to win the 100 days challenge and oh my god that's an azumarill oh no oh my god please don't tell me we just lose now i think here the play is to go into muck on the aqua jet okay expected that and i think i just clicked gunk shot and he brings in wait oh azumarill died and clefable comes in so we got two pokemon down this is huge i'm just gonna click gunk shot on clefable Oh, wait. Okay. Was he trying to get the Intimidate or something? I don't know. But in case Iron Head comes out, we are going to... Oh, my God. It's a... Of course it's Mega Mawile, of course. But in case he goes for Iron Head, we're going to bring out our shiny Charizard. And he goes for Play Rough, which... Oh, my gosh. That is a did a lot. I feel like he's definitely clicking Sucker Punch on this turn. Like, come on. Go for Sucker Punch. Go for Sucker Punch. Click Sucker Punch. Yes! There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go for Hydro Pump here. We hit the Hydro. Let's go. That is so huge. That is so huge. Because Mega Mawile, although it's a great Pokemon, it is very slow. So I can bring out T-Tar now. If you want a Sucker Punch, whatever. We're gonna EQ. Kills the Mega Mawile. Let's go! That is so big. Okay, Slurpuff comes out now. I don't know if we really need Charizard. Like, we took out a Klefki and a Mega Mawile. I doubt he has another steel type when we know like oh no we killed azumarill but i'm just gonna go to charizard here and sack it off he goes for a drain punch wait 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 we're still here i'm gonna go for flamethrower that just annihilated slurpuff oh it was a crit let's go luck might actually be on my side i'm gonna flare blitz this clefable just do as much damage as we, we got the burn luck is actually on my side guys there is no way let's bring in muck we're just gonna go for a gunk shot flamethrower doesn't do a lot there we go we take it out the dene is here i mean i just clicked gunk shot there's no way this does anything to me right let's go and there we go we have taken down the first gym leader gotten our fairy badge which means we have earned a 50 50 shiny legendary crate key and now we have our 50 50 shiny legendary key which means it's time to open it up. But guys, remember, we need a shiny legendary Pokemon to complete our last goal and complete the challenge. So there's a 50% chance we just lose. But let's see if all our hard work paid off in three, two, one. Oh, 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 what's happening? I'm opening a shiny legend crate. What are we gonna get? What do we get? Oh my gosh. And no way. Oh my God. We did it. We got a shiny Kiram, no freaking way. <laughs> and with that, guys, we have completed the 100 days in shiny only Pixelmon challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all next time.